So, often wise people said that occultosophia is too difficult and too theoretical. So I've decided to write a little book on praxis and uh, divide several tools into several chapters as to sum up into a whole workshop of things that may be useful to an intelligent practitioner of magic. So, uh, let us dwell on the Pythagorean training. It is very important to train your ethos first, like in the gymnosophical or yogins training. Ethos and the virtue and some kind of standards, foundation, are very important to develop a strong personality, not to be destroyed by more evil forces when they appear in your life while practicing magic. Often wise, people are distracted or they are chased away from practicing magical activities because they encounter something that destroys their lives and they don't know how to cope with it. In fact, they may return to religion out of fear, thinking that that is where it ends. Well, let us not be too consumed with these kind of hmm, destructions. Then Magia Umbra, the second chapter about the shadow magic, taking a bit from Kenneth Grant, but combining it with Kemetism and a bit of Anubisian mysteries. So, focus, a very important training, some information, a variegation of information on how to focus. Some ideas taken from Austin Osman Spear on the philosophy of focus. Synergetic project projection, synergy, very important, combining all the senses and the mind inclusive. Calling and receiving about Chaldean dicta and so on. So all this you may find in this little book called Methods and Theories of Magic. It's a very short book, available on Amazon and Rider. I write from experience, therefore I do not borrow or lease my knowledge from anyone else. Let's call it a lived life, an experiential knowledge that took me to the point where I'm at. And I don't deal with low magic, I have foundations in life, uh, basic stuff. Now high magic is something that isn't immediate. You won't get money, fame, facts from it as in voodoo for example. However, you may cooperate with very subtle and higher forces that may teach you a wonder, a million inspirations that appear in your mind, your intellect, your heart, that may lead you out of a diseased state, civilizational state. Respiritualize yourself as an animal into Godhood. Well, that's the point, to develop a diamond, a pneuma, and to ascend as a little god. That's not the key, that's just a clue. Because you have to walk the walk yourself. You have to dance the dance yourself and combat the combat yourself. Nobody will do it for you. Thank you.